injury of the meniscus. As incidence, uh, injury of the meniscus is a common condition. Usually occur in athletes, particular, particularly footballer, basketballer, handballers, etc. The medial meniscus is affected ten times more than the lateral meniscus. Why? Because the medial meniscus is attached to the capsule of the knee joint. Therefore, the meniscus is less mobile. While the lateral meniscus is separated from the capsule of the knee joint by tendon of popliteus muscle, leading to free mobility of the lateral meniscus. Therefore, when trauma occurs, usually the lateral meniscus escapes from the trauma. And the less mobile medial meniscus is affected by the trauma. What is the trauma? This is the famous trauma. What is the famous trauma? Um, during uh, playing football, while standing on one limb, in this limb, with the knee flexed, forcible rotation of the body with extension of the knee will crush the meniscus between the two condyle of femur and sure usually will crush the medial condyle of femur because it is less mobile while the more mobile lateral meniscus usually escape from the trauma when uh, the tear occur. What is the shape of the tear? Usually, the tear is longitudinal. Longitudinal tear. Like what? Like this. This is bucket, and this is the handle of the bucket. It is bucket handle shape or it may be transverse transverse curved tear transverse curved tear like what like this barrel beak shaped tear which is transverse curved tear tear in the peripheral one-third of the meniscus. The peripheral one-third of the meniscus is vascular from the neighboring capsule. Therefore, tear in the peripheral outer third of the meniscus can heal. And the treatment of this tear is repair of the tear. While the, the inner or central two thirds of the meniscus, a vascular area, therefore tear in this area never heal, and therefore treatment is partial meniscectomy, removal of the tear. What is uh, the clinical picture of uh, this uh, condition? History of characteristic trauma. During this trauma, the player fall suddenly with severe pain in the knee. And the patient, the player, cannot resume the match. Therefore, history of trauma, being in the knee, fall, cannot resume the match with 
swelling in the knee and effusion in the knee with positive patellar tab as we take in fracture patella um, when uh, the patient can move the patient can walk with limping there is tender walking and during walking there may be locking of the knee when the two condyles of femur crush again the tear this lead to tender movement and locking of the knee loss of movement of the knee the characteristic uh, test or sign to diagnose uh, meniscus tear is McMurray's test. What is McMurray's test? This is the McMurray's test with the patient Subain. The doctor Felix Zeni and put one hand on the knee joint to feel what happened inside the knee joint and the other hand abduct and externally rotate the leg this is a test for medial meniscus abduction and the external rotation of the leg then the doctor extend the knee if a click is felt on the knee joint which means crushing of the tear between the two condyles I feel a click and the patient feel pain if pain and the click this is positive McMurray's test or sign characteristic for meniscus tear investigation the most important investigation in any intra-articular disease in the knee joint is MRI and arthroscopy MRI is the most reliable imaging modality for any intra-articular injury inside the knee arthroscopy is diagnostic 100% we will see the problem we will see the tear and we can treat the tear therefore arthroscopy is diagnostic and nowadays it is therapeutic what is the treatment of this uh, patient in ordinary people we try conservative treatment especially if mild symptoms no locking of the knee initial treatment is rest as we see in uh, the footballers put ice back on the knee to prevent uh, irritation edema inflammation compression bandage and elevate the limb and sure the condition is painful therefore give non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug fix the knee for two to three weeks and the most important is physiotherapy to strengthen all muscles around the knee if conserved treatment fail and there is repeated symptom with locking interfering with the daily activity sure surgery is needed what is uh, surgery surgery here if peripheral tear in the outer third repair of the tear suture of the tear but if uh, central tear the best treatment is through arthroscope through arthroscope is partial meniscectomy 
Partial meniscectomy. Partial meniscectomy may be done by open surgery, but this is rarely done nowadays. The operation of choice is arthroscopic partial meniscectomy, like this. Through arthroscope, we remove the destroyed meniscus. Total meniscectomy is better avoided and usually not done because it leads to marked instability in the knee and the breed is both to secondary osteoarthritis. Therefore, partial meniscectomy through arthroscopy, arthroscopy is the best treatment for central tear in the meniscus. Thank you for good listening and good luck.